Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is a continuation video of my previous video in which I described to you about my interview experience as well as how to prepare or how to crack the interview, the basic starting the coding challenge as well as how to prepare for the phone screening round. So in this video, I will share my experience related to the phone screening. So the phone screening round is basically of around 45 to 60 minutes long. So for the phone screening round, even though it's written a phone screening, but it's not a phone screening, basically, uh, you need a laptop and a headphones because you will be given a challenge, a coding challenge, as well as uh, the interviewer will share a live code session with you in which you have to write the code. You have to write the answers for a few questions that will be asked by the interviewer. Even uh, also keep some blank papers with you in order to solve some complexities, time complexity related questions and all. And also in order to explain the solution. And while giving the answers, make it sure you are speaking loudly such that the interview can understand what is going through in your mind, what is your approach, how you're solving the question. So these are a few important things and make it sure you install Amazon Sign for smooth interview, interview experience. That is for the video interview. So uh, in my interview, there was a quick intro by the interviewer and uh, he gave a just brief introduction about himself and asked me about myself. So that, that was around like five to 10 minutes. And after that, he straight forward, move on to the uh, questions related to the arrays and list. And uh, basically he asked about what are the, how the memory allocation is being done in case of arrays and list and uh, about time complexities of insertion, retrieval, searching. So basically he, in the live code session, he just wrote some array and list. And he asked me like questions about like, what is the, uh, if I want to search some element, what is the time complexity? And if I want to insert an element in an array and in a list, what are the time complexities and why it is? So after explaining all those things, he just gave me a simple, straightforward question that merged two sorted arrays. So before jumping onto the solution, even though you know the answer, how to solve or how to approach, we need to just like show like, okay, we need to clear our intentions, like how the way we are going to solve the question with the interviewer. We need to tell the approach, okay, first, which programming language I'm going to choose. I can choose it in the live code session. And then I can explain to the, uh, interviewer like I will solve this question in this XYZ way then once he is convinced then you take a permission from the interviewer can I start writing the code for it then only start writing the code so that don't directly jump into writing the code so once that coding session is done then um, like basically you will ask uh, like few basic questions uh, related to the array list or trees it depends from person to person what are the questions they are asking but mostly in the phone screening round, they are basically asking some general questions in order to make it sure you're the best fit for the position. So each phone screening, they, they can be multiple phone screening also, but for me, there was only one phone screening was there. And after the coding question, that was around like uh, 20 minutes he gave me. And after that, he will spend around like, uh, he spent around like 10 to 15 minutes asking me some leadership principles questions. And one of the question was related to the custom obsession. And another one was uh, related to the learn and be curious. So there are total 16 leadership principles are being defined by Amazon. We need to make it sure we go through each and every one of them and make a story out of it. So if you are not having a real time experience with those principles, uh, keeping in mind, so we need to make uh, ourselves prepare. Like we have plenty of things to tell as per the principles defined. So we need to make some stories upfront so such that we can explain those things while during the interview. So that is one of the thing we need to take care. After the uh, most of the answers that we give for the leadership principle, make it sure we follow the star approach. Now most of the uh, books, most of the articles, most of the internet, um, uh, some interview guides and all, it is mentioned like we should uh, follow a star approach. But what I was like, the email that I got for the phone screening round and all, it was clearly mentioned, I need to follow this S-T-A-R-R -R approach. 
that so they just added one more thing over here that is a reflection part so basically whenever we are giving answers related to this leadership principle make it sure you follow this star approach so that is what situation task like what is the situation first explain what was the situation and at which context you are giving the answer then the task or what did i decide to do and why i decided to do an action then the result and the reflection so these are quite important so we should prepare ourselves in this approach such that we are able to give uh, the answers for the leadership principles quite confidently moreover um, even though in in the coding session also if you are not able to uh, provide a proper solution we can start with some brute force one the only thing they want to check whether are you confident writing the code what is your approach and how you how confidently you are giving the answers so that's most important and prepare very well for the time complexity time complexities we need to make it sure we are giving the correct answers for the time complexities next thing uh, in the end of the interview always make it sure you ask some questions to the interviewer like uh, ask one or two questions related to the job description or what the role is and what are the tasks that i will be performing in the company if i given the chance and what is the career graph or career growth uh, in that particular position so these are the few things we can ask to the interviewer so during my session like my session went on along like like one and a half hour it was supposed to be one hour like but my interaction with the interviewer was quite good even in the last of the interview uh, he gave me a positive note like uh, see you soon in the soon in the next round of interviews so if your interview is happy with you he will like maybe uh, he will continue for more than one hour from the given time frame so in my interview also continued for one and a half hour then uh, in order to prepare for this phone screening we need to have some content that i will discuss later on but before once i finish this phone screening if you are successful we will get the uh, results or we can say results or we can say invitation for the next round that is a virtual loop interview that is the final round so always make it sure if you are not confident if you are not prepared well take a time in between of your phone screening and the virtual loop interviews i was lucky enough i got a plenty of time in between and uh, i scheduled my interview like after four weeks so it is like a recommendation like you know we should always take a time in between in order to prepare well because the loop interviews are not easy like that of the screening or the coding challenge it is uh, it's really tough and it is like we need to clear all our basics and we need to get deeper and deeper into the leadership principles keeping in mind so in order to prepare well so practice a uh, few coding challenges for the loop interviews especially focus more on data structure don't uh, like spend more time on basic things stack q and all spend more time on graphs and uh, spend more time on trees and try to solve most of the questions on uh, lead code or hacker rank and geek for geeks uh, these three uh, mediums are quite good where you can get the questions and try to solve the questions without looking into the solutions and try to solve itself yourself first using any uh, brute force approach and later try if you if you are able to solve try to implement those things with the help of some suitable data structures and also try to minimize the time complexity so that is the most important thing like when we are going for the loop interviews there should be some solution you should you should define to the interviewer and again in order to understand all the concepts and all Uh, we can follow and again uh, choosing uh, your choice of programming language it all depends upon you so you can choose whatever you want java or python or c sharp and um, so i i will suggest you a few books over here like program Pro problem solving with algorithms and data structures by brad miller and and this david ranum and you can also keep it handy this big o oh, cheat sheet all the time it is very important throughout the uh, this interview process that's all in the next video i will be uploading uh, details about my virtual loop interviews that is consisting of five rounds so it, i will give you all the details what were the questions were being asked and how i went through all the process and all so please do like and share my channel thanks for watching